Congressman Lewis was a friend of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And we want to bring in Dr. King's son, community activist, Martin Luther King III, joining us this morning from Atlanta. Mr. King, we're grateful for you spending some time with us on this day to remember the late congressman. He knew your father well. He was one of the organizers of that march on Washington. Talk about that relationship between your father and John Lewis. Uh, it was uh, part of that relationship was a, a mentoring relationship. Dad uh, certainly admired his energy, his tenacity, uh, and he admired Dad's leadership. And so that is the, the, the real relationship. Dad was inspired by, by John Lewis, just as I have been. I mean, excuse me, John Lewis was inspired by Dad, but I have been inspired as many millions of us across the nation and the world have been inspired by John Lewis and his examples that he set for us every day. And you say that, and it makes me think about the fact that Congressman Lewis uh, was 23 years old when he marched across the Edmund Pettus Bridge, that brave march. It's a fight, though, that he has continued to this day. He continues to speak out to young people. He saw this wave of protests all across the country as a continuation of his body of work. What do you think his impact will be on this next generation? Well, clearly, um, we are seeing more young people engaged in voting. He's the one individual that personified more than anyone the importance of voting. This is the 150th anniversary of the 15th Amendment, which gave black men the right to vote, possibly the Voting Rights Act did it later. This is the actual... Um, 100th anniversary of women voting, and this is the 50th and uh, 55th anniversary of the, the Voting Rights Act. So I, I hope that people are inspired to reenact the Voting Rights Act. That would be a true tribute to John Lewis. And instead of people from all across the aisle just praising him, we need to act. John Lewis would want us to act and to act now to make sure that everyone can vote. There are no encumbrances. And you're struck, I'm struck by some of the words he said in the last several months. He would repeat the phrase, be constructive, not destructive. What lasting message do you think John Lewis would want to leave for us? Well, when you say be constructive, that is what he always, again, personified. And I think that there are young people out here today that are working in a constructive way. It's my hope that Congress does that, not just talk. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I say Congress, I mean both, both sides. Again, a tribute to John Lewis would be for us to create no encumbrances, maybe to, in fact, reenact the Voting Rights Act. And that's what he would want us to do. That's what we've got to do. We've got to vote every election, not just this election. This is probably one of the most critical, but we have to vote every election. That is what he'd want us to do. That is what begins the process of change in this nation. Martin Luther King III, we very much appreciate mm -hmm. you joining us on this Saturday morning as we remember the late congressman. Thank you. Such an important Thank voice you. to hear from this morning.